Peter Sellers, the legendary comedic actor, was known for his antics both on and off the screen. One day, he found himself in a peculiar situation that would become a memorable real-life incident with a valuable moral lesson. It was a sunny afternoon, and Peter Sellers decided to take a leisurely stroll through the bustling streets of London. He had just finished filming a particularly exhausting scene for one of his movies, and he relished the idea of some fresh air and anonymity amidst the crowd. Dressed casually in a hat and sunglasses, he thought he'd go unnoticed. As he wandered through the busy streets, he couldn't help but overhear snippets of conversations from passers-by. Suddenly, he heard two young women whispering excitedly, Oh my gosh! Look, it's Peter Sellers! Peter couldn't resist a chuckle. He knew he was quite famous, and it wasn't unusual for people to recognize him. But on this particular day, he decided to have some fun and pretend to be an ordinary man named John, a character he often played in his films. With a mischievous grin, Peter approached the two enthusiastic fans and said in a deliberately exaggerated accent, Hello, ladies. My name is John. How do you do? The women couldn't believe their luck. They were convinced they were meeting a look-alike, and they were delighted to chat with him. Oh, John. We're such huge fans of Peter Sellers. We can't believe we're talking to you, gushed one of the women. Peter kept up the charade, weaving an intricate web of stories about his supposed life as John. He claimed to be a struggling actor who could only dream of being as famous as Peter Sellers. The women were entirely engrossed in his tales, hanging on to his every word. As they continued their walk together, more people began to recognize Peter Sellers, or rather, John. Each time someone pointed him out, Peter would put on his best surprised face and say, Oh, you must be mistaken. I'm just John, not Peter Sellers. Words spread like wildfire, and soon, a small crowd started following the trio, eager to catch a glimpse of the supposedly famous Peter Sellers in the company of his adoring fans. Peter couldn't believe how much fun he was having, and his impromptu improv skills were in full swing. At one point, a journalist who happened to be nearby saw the commotion and decided to investigate. He approached the group, asking, Is it true? Is this really Peter Sellers? Without missing a beat, Peter replied in his John persona, Oh, no, sir. I'm John, not Peter Sellers. But yes, I do get that a lot. The journalist, unable to resist the possibility of an exclusive story, decided to play along. He interviewed the women and John, capturing the charming encounter on camera. By this time, the crowd had grown significantly, and people started treating John with celebrity reverence. Some even asked for autographs, and Peter gladly signed his fake name, John Sellers, with flair. The whole adventure lasted for hours, with Peter Sellers, the master of comedy, relishing every moment of his undercover escapade. Eventually, though, he knew it was time to reveal the truth. Gathering the now sizable group of followers, Peter stepped forward and confessed, My dear friends, I have a confession to make. I'm not John, I'm actually Peter Sellers. The crowd erupted in laughter, thinking it was part of the act. But when they realized he was telling the truth, their laughter turned to astonishment. The women who had been by John's side all this time were dumbfounded, unable to believe they had spent the day with their idol in disguise. As the crowd dispersed, 
everyone wearing a smile on their faces, Peter Sellers reflected on the day's events. He had learned a valuable lesson about the power of humor and how it could bring joy to people's lives. By pretending to be someone else, he had not only entertained the crowd but also taught them not to take fame and celebrity status too seriously. The moral of the story was clear, while fame can be a double-edged sword, using it to bring happiness and laughter to others is a gift worth sharing. Peter Sellers had taught himself and others that a simple act of fun and playfulness can create memorable moments and leave a lasting impact on those around us. From that day forward, whenever Peter Sellers felt overwhelmed by his celebrity status, he would remember the day he became John Sellers and the joy he had spread among his fans. And in those moments, he would don his mischievous grin once more, ready to continue his quest to make the world a happier and brighter place, one joke at a time. Thank you for listening. For more stories like this, please consider subscribing.